Good morning, mga raketeros, raketeras! Welcome sa ating bagong show na dito sa 1PH, ang Rocket Science kung saan tutulungan namin kayo na magkatrabaho, magpalago ng negosyo at kumita. Dahil dito sa Rocket Science, kitang-kita ang kita! Hoy, mga friendship! Anim na araw na lang, Pasko na! Yes! Tuloy pa rin ang Pasko! Alam nyo ba, kahit na may kwarta man o wala, kahit nang dumadaan tayo sa matinding paghirap, ha, res mals, ha, amor-amor, eh laban lang po tayo ang tanong, ano ang mga dapat nating abangan sa umaga na ito? Makakasama natin ngayon ang hindi lang isa, kundi dalawang, one negosyante po para turuan tayo magtagumpay sa negosyo. Yes, exciting po, ladies and gentlemen. Exclusive mentorship din po mula sa Batikan na isa ika nga eh, pagdating sa larangan ng coaching. Walang iba kundi si Coach of the Champions kundi si Coach Chuck Reyes. This time, hindi sa larangan ng basketball ang kundi sa negosyo. Sa mga gusto naman magsimula na kanilang mga food cart bit, business, may inspire kayo matuto kayo sa founder ng Sweet Corner at Sumo Takoyaki Incorporated. At mga friendship ha, tune lang po kayo sa 1PH, syempre sa 1PH po sa Facebook at syempre sa Signal TV. Signal TV, ladies and gentlemen, maraming maraming salamat po. So, again, bati lang tayo sa ating mga ika nga mga raketista, si Carolyn, si Michelle, si Irish, si Amor Amor, si Jasmine, si Res Mals, at si Norhan. Maraming maraming salamat po sa inyo. Okay, pwede na kayo magpadala ng inyong mga mensahe. Bati-bati portion muna tayo, Jasmine, ha? Okay, maraming maraming salamat po. At syempre naman, samantala, tara na at matuto na tayo sa kaalaman upang magtagumpay sa larangan ng pagnenegosyo. Gusto mo bang magnegosyo? Gusto mo bang magpa-coach? Huwag na natin patagalin pa. Tumungo na tayo sa ating segment ng One Negosyante! Yes, yes, yes! Nako mga friendship ha, kapag pinag-uusapan po natin ang mundo ng Philippine Basketball Association, di ba PBA, eh hindi na yata mawawala ang pangalan na the most ano winningest coach ha? and the most winningest ano mali yun? most winning coach of all yung mga champions na si coach Chot, uh, Chot Reyes sa kanyang panahon na bilang coach sa basketball champions po ika nga na uso ang sikat ng battle cry na laban Pilipinas puso yes pero lingit sa kaalaman na karamihan ang leadership no na ito ay magaling magaling na leader but he's a leader with a heart na kampanyang ginagamit ni coach Chot sa pagpapatakbo ng negosyo tutulungan ng individuals magtagumpay sa kanilang buhay at sa kanilang karir. Mapalad po natin mga kasama ngayong araw na ito si Mr. Vincent Cochot Reyes! Yes, Cochot! Magandang umaga! Good morning, Chinky! Magandang umaga sa lahat ng iyong tagapakinig at uh, iyong mga viewers. Yes, maraming maraming salamat ha, uh, for, the, for gracing this occasion. Sige, hindi na natin patatagalin. Maraming tao hindi nakakaalam aside from you being a famous uh, coach of champions, eh kayo rin ay eh, isang ano, nagaran ng isang hair salon. <laughs> Gaano katagal na tong uh, negosyong hair salon? Oo. Matagal na actually uh, 16, 17 years na itong Tony and Guy. Talaga to negosyo to ng aking asawa. Siya talaga mm. ang super head coach. Alam mo naman tayo sa bahay. Head coach tayo, pero sa bahay, eh, meron pang mas super head coach sa atin. Eh, ganun mm-hmm. po namin sa Tony and Guy, ang talagang head coach dito sa negosyo namin is my wife, si Cherry. Eh, ako ay, uh, kumbaga, coach of the coach lang ako, tumutulong-tulong lang ako. Pero we've oh. been uh, in existence for uh, 16, 17 years already. Wow. Yeah, I can still remember, nagpapagupit din ako sa may galeria, eh, sa galeria. Oo, oh, correct. Yeah. Nandun, nandun pa rin ba yung branch sa galeria? Yeah, wala na yun. That, that moved already. Oh. Mm-hmm. So, ang pag-usapan po natin, syempre naman, yung pandemic, di ba? How did the pandemic uh, hit that business? As you can imagine, uh, very severely, uh, matindi ang tama ng uh, lockdown, ng pandemic sa negosyo namin. And... Uh, You know, it was very uncertain, but we really thought that we went, to, we came within a few inches of of survival. Dahil uh, alam mo naman, uh, pag nagsara nung tumagal na naging two months uh, at magti three months na yung lockdown, uh, talagang nagworry na kami ng uh, wife ko at kaya aming board. Uh, and then there are mm. biggest worry really yung aming mga tao. Dahil so, uh, 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 yes, sige sige, go so, ahead. Sige. 
as measuring steps, ano yung mga unang hakbang na ginawa nyo in order for you to be able to survive yun nga itong crisis na ito? Uh, first of all, I think we, uh, at least we had good uh, prudent fiscal management. So, uh, we were able to, maski wala kaming kita for the next two, two and a half months, uh, na, na we were still able to take care of the salaries of the people. So, ang unang-una naming ginawa, uh, ako as their as the chairman of the board, uh, nag-video, ay, ay, akala ko gagawa muna, iniisip namin, gagawa ako ng memo, pero I thought better of it, and I, I actually, we produced a video, dahil hindi pa, naalala mo, Chinky, nung unang-unang nag-pandemic, hindi pa uso itong Zoom eh, yung mga, mm -hmm. Zoom, mga platforms. So we did a video and we sent it to everyone. I thought it was very important that for the people to see us as their leaders, and to assure them that we are doing everything in, in our power to take care of their welfare. So yun ang unang una namin ginawa. Tapos sabi namin sa mga tao, uh, ito yung nangyari, huwag kayong mag-alala, itong unang buwan, hindi naman natin alam gano'ng katagal to eh, pero itong unang buwan, uh, we will take care, sagot muna namin ang inyong, uh, yung sweldo ninyo, don't worry about it, uh, mababayaran ng sweldo nyo for the first month. Sabi ko. Then after that, we will we will continue talking, continue talking depending on on ano yung mga developments. But I thought yun ang unang unang pinaka importante sa mga negosyante in a crisis situation. I think it's very important uh, that they see the leader uh, and that the leader leads from the front. The, the leadership presence is very very important. Ang pinaka mahirap pag may crisis is uh, pag nagpanik yung leader. Totoo yeah. yun. Uh, sa mga nakikinig sa mga yung mga audience ngayon uh, whether you're running a business or a small uh, uh, negosyo or whatever yun ang pinakaimportante is uh, don't don't panic keep keep your composure not only that coach de ba pero sa ano rin sa pamilya di ba being as the breadwinner kung ikaw mismo yung head ng family na nagpanic ka everyone in the family na feel yung insecurity correct Oo. kasi na-transmit natin yan sa tao natin Ganon din, din ba yan sa, let's say, balik natin sa coaching, sa basketball? <laughs> Kunyari, you as the leader, as the coach. Kunyari, pagka ano na, crunch time na, crisis na, di ba? Last few seconds, lamang ang kalaban. Pag nagpanik ka rin ba, mararamdaman din ng players mo? Exactly. Especially sa basketball. Kasi sa basketball, the, the, ang decision making, split second yan eh. We don't have the time, kunyari, kagaya sa... Sa corporate world or even sa negosyo, minsan we have a few weeks or a few months sometimes to make a decision. May analysis tayo, may time tayo may para mag-aral. Sa basketball, hindi. Mahuli ka lang ng konti. Yeah, it's too late. Dumaan na yung uh, opportunity or nakagawa na ng ibang play yung kalaban mo. So, uh, very certainly, that, that's, uh, and in fact, I think that's where I developed the the ability to to keep my cool under pressure is is there in the basketball court and yun ang i think nadala ko sa negosyo even in my work now with executives in my leadership workshops um yun ang nadala ko na malaking learning from my basketball experience so coach ano yung ginagawa mo how do you step out of the ano of that situation na para hindi ka involved masyado kasi pag emotionally and mentally involved ka hindi ka nakakapag-isip eh diba ano yung ginagawa mong ano steps na ikaw ay i-compose mo na ano yung ginagawa mo? Very important yung preparation. As leaders, negosyante ka, businessman ka, you have to prepare yourself at hindi lang yung negosyo. Of course, importante yung negosyo, yung cash flow, benta, product development, those things are important. But you also have to prepare yourself. Emotional intelligence, you have to have rituals, yun na importante. Okay. Sa pagaya ako, malaking importante sa akin, malaking advocacy ko is physical fitness. Because when you are physically fit and physically healthy, that helps your emotional, your, your mental sharpness and your emotional intelligence. Uh, I, I also do a, a breathing exercise, a breath work, breathing practice. Malaking bagay yun. Because uh, you train yourself na pag may konting sigalot o may konting gulo, hindi ka kagad, kasi yun ang nangyayari, di ba? Stimulus response, yung reaction kagad natin, minsan yun ang mabilis, eh. that impulsive reaction, yun ang, those are the reactions uh, we regret. So if you are trained to do some breathing practice, pwede ka ngayon mag-step back, hinga ka muna, take three deep breaths, 
And then, ma uh, at least tahaba ng konti yung pagitan between the stimulus and response, you can step back, take a better look at the situation, and then make better decisions. So, Grabe sa akin, yan. yun ang aking process, you know, just... Yeah. Yeah. Alam mo, I can, ano, I can sense that, no, na naramdaman mo na ba, especially nung nagbaba, yung nagko-coach ka pa, yung parang the game is playing, pero nakikita mo in slow motion mode. <laughs> exactly, yes. <laughs> Thanks, yeah, hindi lang you. tayo, even the best players, ha? even the Michael Jordans, Kobe Bryants, and the LeBron James in this world, when you ask them their, when they get in the, ang tinatawag namin sa sports world, the flow, Yung in the zone, when you're in moments of flow, ganun, parang ang bagal. You see things in slow motion. So, oh. then you then you know that you're in flow. Sige, uh, Coach Shot, right now, ano yung mga magiging business tips mo para maging resilient ang mga tao po ngayon? Uh, first of all, I think uh, developing a practice of gratitude is very important. We have to just in spite of how difficult things are, <clears throat> in spite of how difficult things are around us, we should still find ways to look for the positive in every uh, situation. Because when we nourish or develop a practice of gratitude, it wires our brain. Eh. May ginagawa yan sa pag-iisip natin na hindi tayo nalululung sa negativity at sa lahat ng masamang nangyayari. So, na, nabibigyan tayo ng positivity at ang pinaka-importante ng pag-asa, ng hope. And think about it in this time. If we have no hope, what do we have? Diba, Siki? So, wala uh, tayo. Hope, wala eh. So, galing. I think that's the very first thing to nourish that that uh, attitude of, of gratitude. And yes. then, I think it's very important. And ito palagi kung binibigay na advice sa mga negosyante. You have to ground yourself in reality. Face the brutal facts. Don't sugarcoat things. Uh, talagang tignan mo ano ba yung sitwasyon ng negosyo ko. Is it mm. time to go? Is it time to expand? Is it time to cut down? Is it time to let go? You have to be very, very honest. Part Galing. of going into business kasi is also knowing when to get out of business, di ba? Kailangan mm. alam talaga natin yan. Mm. And then, uh, yung tinatawag natin, develop a growth mindset. Mm. If you are if you are a fixed mindset individual, na ang tingin mo, hanggang dito ka na lang, hindi ka na, ayaw mo na magbago, bakit ka pa kailangan matuto, then you will never be resilient. The resilience is reserved only for growth mindset individuals. Galing, galing. So, yun ang, mga, yun ang mga little tips ko. And finally, develop oh. a, a good uh, support system. What we call mm. a good time tribe. Make sure you have a support system, a great uh, support support system around you. Yung Forbes came out with an article last July lang. Itong July lang nitong taon na to. Ang title ng article, Resilience is a Team Sport. Resilience is a Team Sport. So, huwag mong solohin. Huwag mong wow. solohin. Kaya ka nga may kapamilya, may mga kaibigan, di ba? Ang tawag natin dyan, partner, reach in, tignan mo yung sa kalooban mo, and reach out. Reach mm. in and reach out. Wag mong solohin. And then you will find that uh, there will be you will be surprised at how many people are there willing to help you. So Grabe, grabe. Oh, okay, guys, hindi ko na na kung nagte-take note kayo, nagte-take notes kayo. Ako from this session pa lang, itong part pa lang to, ah, hindi pa tayo umiinit. <laughs> Ang dami ko na napulot. In order for us to yung be resilient in these difficult times at paano tayo maka-recover? kailangan yung attitude muna. Yun nga sinasabi ni John Maxwell. It's your attitude that will determine your altitude. The higher you add the uh, attitude, the higher the altitude. Tapos number two, face the fact. Face the situation. Pero ito yung coach na problema ko. Uh, how can you face the problem if the problem is your face? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Yung yeah. yeah. problema. <laughs> the <new> about face. <laughs> <laughs> And then, uh, yung timing. Ano ba ang timing mo? Uh, should you, ano, parang... Uh, yung parang stop for a moment, should you persist, should you scale, should you grow, timing. Pang-apat yung sinasabi, develop a growth mindset. O, oh, importante yun. Uh, paano pala mag-develop uh, ng growth mindset? Quick lang, coach. Uh, first of all, realize your fixed mindset voice. Alam mo yung fixed mindset voice, yung nagbubulong palagi, oh, chinky, wag mo na gawin yan, di mo kaya yan, wala sa lugar mo yan, di mo abot yan. So you have to mm. recognize that. And then you talk back to it with your growth mindset voice that says, okay, baka hindi ko pa uh, kaya, hindi ko pa yun alam tong ngayon. Pero 
pag binigyan ko to ng uh, attention, matututunan ko rin yun. So, mm. kailangan ma-recognize mo muna yun, yung tinatawag nilang inner saboteur. Di ba yun yung mga uh, boy bulong dyan eh, nasa, pag, uh, nasa utak natin eh. So, talk back to it with your growth mindset voice. And then, do something outside your comfort zone. Something. Kagaya ko, nung nag-pandemic, alam mo ko, mm. uh, I'm a big uh, advocate of physical exercise and working out. Pero ayaw na ayaw ko partner ang yoga kasi ang tigas ng katawan ko, very unflexible ako eh. Pero oh. pinilit ko yung sarili ko. Buti na lang my second son is a licensed yoga instructor. So dito, halos everyday may yoga lessons dito sa bahay. So pinilit ko talaga sarili ko, maski na outside of my comfort zone. So that was my way of stretching myself. So mm. that's very important. Do things that are outside your comfort zone. And mm. then, pag nahihirapan ka, just be conscious. When you are having difficulty, you are growing. Sa fixed mindset individuals, kasi pag nahihirapan na sila, umaayaw na sila. Eh. Tama mm. na. Ah, failure ako, failure ako. Sa growth mm. mindset individuals, baliktad. Ah, nahihirapan ako. Uy, ibig sabihin, yung aking brain, neurons, the myelin, nagpa-fire yan, gumagawa ng bagong connections yan and all that. So, okay. so find that. And then finally, okay. look for a growth mentor. Get a growth yes. mentor. That's very important. Galing, galing. Paano mo naman nilalaban si, nilalaban si Boy Bulong? Di ba? Si Negative. You. Diba? Yeah. How? So, unang-una, realize that it's there. Don't, like we said, di ba? Don't, uh, don't deny it. Realize that it's there. And understand that you have the power, your your own growth, your own growth mindset voice. So, pag narinig mo na, uh, ang tawag natin sa emotional intelligence doon, self-awareness, di ba? Pag narinig mo na, uh, then, um, then marirecognize mo, oh, eto na si Boy Bulong. Ito ang panlaban ko. So, meron ka ng ready na panlaban. Whether it's a mantra or a self-talk, a positive self-affirmation, whatever that is. Mm. Uh, panlaban kasi lalabanan parang, mo yan uh, oo oh, lalabanan may mga iba kasi diba they use the word of God diba to counter si Boy Bulong yes uh -huh. oh. and last but, but not the least yung sinabi mga support system yan so guys ha ang dami na po nakuha natin pero right now I want to introduce naman yung ginagawa po ngayon currently uh, na career and profession po ni Coach Chotray Coach Com can you please tell us more about this Yeah, yung Coachcom, that's been in existence since 2002. Almost a 20-year-old company na yan. Uh, because before, even when I was uh, coaching professionally, marami nagre-request sa akin ng mga speaking engagements, na naging mga leadership workshop, na naging mga team building uh, workshop. So we put up the company for, for to handle that. Uh, kaya lang, hindi ko masyadong na-full-time yun because... I was coaching professionally and then the past seven, six, eight years, I was involved with TV5 pa. Uh, and then may mga ibang negosyo din ako. But now, uh, nung nag-retire ako sa TV5 middle of last year, I really did that so that I can go full-time into my executive and business coaching practice. Kaya tamang-tama naman, bago nag-pandemic, uh, nakuha ko na yung mga, natapos ko na yung mga certification ko as a, Executive, uh, go Marshall Goldsmith Executive Coach. Uh, I'm a certified Agile and Scrum Management Coach. So uh, perfect, na perfect, naman. Uh, when when this pandemic hit, I was very, I was ready to uh, offer my services to a lot of the executives and the companies today. Kasi ngayon kailangan kailangan nila dahil nga sa mga pangyayari ngayon, di ba? The, everything that's happening around us. So. Yan ang ginagawa ng Coachcom, our speaking engagement, leadership workshops, and uh, executive coaching. Executive yeah. uh, and business coaching. Guys, ito lang ha. Let me tell you this. Uh, the value of yung itong coaching sessions na ito. Uh, especially if you are a business person or if not naman a career person or uh, just a ano, uh, parang budding entrepreneur or let's say yeah. kakagraduate mo lang. Alam mo, kailangan ka na kailangan natin yan eh. But why do I always say that, no? Uh, everyone needs a coach. Even I, as a wealth coach, needs need a coach. Bakit? Yeah. I don't know if you'll agree with this, no, Coach Chot. Sometimes we're too close to the tree. We hug the tree. We don't see the forest. Exactly. Exactly. Diba? Yeah. 
ang bilis magpayo sa ibang tao pag nasa gitna sila ng problema. Pero pag ikaw mismo sa parehong problema, hindi mo na kayang payuhan ng sarili mo. makikita, yes. Kasi, wag, wag lang, even the best athletes, Tiger Woods, the best in the world, may coach pa. Bakit? Sabi niya, eh minsan may ginagawa ko, hindi ko napapansin eh. Ang makakakita lang ibang tao eh, yung coach. So, ganun din. Even the best surgeons in the world, meron na, there's a very good TED Talk uh, about this uh, surgeon who says, yeah, I need a coach because I don't realize that when I was performing surgery, I was doing something unnecessary that hindi niya makikita kung hindi sinabi sa kanya ng isang mentor niya. So, uh, that's why uh, we, we like uh, the, the value of having coaches around us. And yung sa atin kasi, uh, Chinky, is what I bring to the table not only is my professional certification or education, but I'm also a practitioner. Uh, we're actually running businesses now at, at negosyo, di ba? Hindi lang tayo theoretic. At, at ano, theory, tama. Practitioner Oo. tayo. And more importantly, I've won championships and I've lost championships. I've, I've gotten good jobs and I've gotten fired from my job. May negosyo akong tumatakbo that are successful. May negosyo na rin akong nalugi. So, been there, done that tayo. And yun ang mga okay, eh, okay. parts sa mga tao. Exciting part to eh. Since sinabi mo na yan, ha? marami kasi nagpa-fail. Marami kasi, di ba, yung mga temporary detours in life. Ay, yung ano, yung pinakamasakit yan, pinapaguran mo ng book season, di ba? Tapos, ano lang, natalo ka yun by one point. How yep. can you recover from a loss? Whether it's financial loss, it's anything na loss, paano ka maka-recover mentally, emotionally? Please. First of all, again, understand that uh, it's part of the business. It's part of the game. Whether that's business or sports, losing is part of the game. Having said that, you have to, I've learned, lo I've long learned the lesson to lose the game but never lose the lesson. So I think that's very important. Lose the game, never lose the lesson, whether that's in sports or in business or, or, or in life. Always, what is the lesson? And uh, that's the most important thing uh, because wala namang mag-isip ka ng pinakasikat at successful na negosyante, businessman, or athlete ngayon. Lahat dumaan yan sa pagkaluge, pagkatalo, sa failure. Everybody, Steve Jobs, Bill, lahat, all, Bill Gates, all of those people, LeBron James, Kobe Bryant, my, lahat yan. So... You have to understand that's part of the game. Losing is part of the of the territory. It's part of the business of success. Mm -hmm. So, Sige. kailangan na uh, maintindihan mo talaga yun. And, uh, Sige, let's talk about it naman, yung parating famous tagline mo na puso, di ba? Yung heart, di ba? Yes. Uh, when you explain, can you please give us the meaning of for you? Yeah, nung uh, when I went full time into this leadership development practice inisip ko what uh, i asked my clients ano bang importante sa inyo ngayon so it was a period of survey and research and it came all out uh, emotional intelligence is uh, they were asking me about emotional intelligence agility resilience yun yung tatlong themes eh. talagang labas ng labas yun emotional mm. intelligence agility resilience sabi ko to develop all of those may isang pinaka fundamental and that is physical fitness, good health. Because mm -hmm. like you, how can you be even leading or how can you, Chinky, do everything you do if you are always on sick bay, diba? If you are not physically fit to do whatever it is that you need to do. So yun yung naisip ko. So sabi ko, since I'm known for the puso battle cry, yung in English ko lang yung puso, which is heart, I developed that acronym, which is health. Physical health, emotional intelligence, agility, resilience, and then finally, to scale all of that is teammanship or team leadership. So, yun yung heart mm. model. So, when I talk mm. to people and I, I give my workshops, it's all about that. We share 20 different frameworks, models, or tools to executives on how to coach. Uh, yung methodology ko kasi, Chinky, is not only the know-how, but the how-to. I actually mm. teach leaders and executives, how to coach it. Kasi, marami naman sa mga kaibigan natin at mga negosyante, inabot nila kung nasaan sila because they were emotional intelligent, they're very agile, they were very resilient. Pero the question yeah. is, can you coach it? 
Kasi mm, natutunan can you plan ko sa transfer? O, oh, natutunan ko sa basketball, yung magaling na player, hindi automatically magaling na coach yun. Totoo. Totoo. Yes. So, yun ang, that's where we coach. come in. We teach the how-to. Itong gusto kong gawin natin on the last five minutes natin, no? Uh, Siyempre, may mga ibang tao, parang clueless. Ano ba nangyayari sa isang coaching session? Oo. So, kunyari, gawa tayo ng compact version na iko-coach mo ko. O, like, okay. for example, mag-start tayo. So, how do you start the process, the questioning process? Sige, start okay. tayo. I'll, I'll give you a very simple model. Grow. Isipin, hmm. tandaan nyo lang yung grow model. G-R-O-W. So, I'm going to start with the goal. Okay, Chinky, I want to talk to you today regarding uh, your project for developing your latest uh, learning management system. Uh. Okay, so what are the realities? What's going on right now? Tatanungin uh. kita. So yeah, now you're going to answer. Then you answer me. Yeah, so, ang problema ko kasi ngayon, di ko alam kung paano gawin to. Yan yung problema ko. That's one of my pain points. Okay. Oh, what are your options? What do you think are the options? What are the possibilities? Uh, number one, definitely get an expert, get a person who had already been there and done that. Okay, what else? What else do you think is possible? Uh, yes, we can read. Pwede ako magbasa ng libro, pwede ako mag-search, research. Pero I find it more costly because you have the time. At the same time, eh, may ano ka pa, trial and error. Pero if you as an expert na nagawa na, I think that will be faster. Anything else? Is there any other option that you can think of? Maybe something out of left field? Is there anyone uh, you can partner with, for example? A collaboration, a partnership that you can engage uh, right away to scale or, or to facilitate what? the process? Pwede yan, Coach. Uh, however, syempre, not everyone is open to share their secrets. Yan yung problema. <laughs> okay, so, so at least we have laid three options on the table, Chinky. What do you think is the most uh, feasible for you? I think in getting the experience one and then kahit na magbayad and put it as part of my KPEX already, capital expenditure. Okay. So, if I'm Gee, hearing you right, yeah, if I'm hearing you right, you are already going to put that in your budget and you're going to do the uh, legwork, maghahanap ka na kung sino yun and, and you're uh -huh. going to interview, Okay. So finally, so what is your way forward? What will you do? So these are your, we find your three options and you said that you're going to do that. So what is your commitment? What are you going, what will you do? What is your way forward? Uh, uh, yung commitment ko, definitely, I need to immerse myself and understand. Kailangan maunawaan ko yung proseso. And I have to weigh the pros and cons, di ba, of uh, developing this. And then, syempre, I will ask also, uh, Yung in terms, aside from the process, in terms of sino yung may tao ba ako? Do I have the people who can help me do it internally? Do I have the resource? Do I have the time? Or should I form a new team in order for it, this uh, project na mag-work to? So when do you think you can do all of this? What is a timetable that is uh, comfortable for you? Mga six months to one year to. Ito yung next year na project to. Ah, okay. So, but then, meron tayong check-in maybe in three months? Meron ka nang maipapakita na progress? Yes, Or definitely. Me? Definitely. Congratulations. Now we have a plan. That's it. Ayan yung grow. We started ah, with the goal. So we asked for the reality. And then reality. I asked for the options. We came up with three options, di ba? Reality, and then finally, option. we said, we asked, I asked you, so what is your way forward? What will you do? Mm, what is the way galing. forward? Ang galing. Ang galing naman. Palakpakan! <laughs> Diba? Five minutes. Grow model. So, nag-gets nyo. Uh, guys, ito yun eh. Uh, sa totoo lang, itong coaching session, it helps you untangle eh. Yung, yes. alam ko naman kung ano yung dapat kong gawin. Pero ang ginagawa ng isang coach, tinatanggal niya yung mga pulupot. Kaya nga guys, ito lang. Yun, mga pulupot, correct. So, pag sa mga nagninegosyo, yun nga yung nakakalungkot lang, Coach Chot, no? Yes. Karamihan kasi, nagninegosyo na. They start. And then, pag, pag, pag palpak na, pag, kasi pupunta sa inyo, pakiayos. <laughs> <laughs> May tawag kami dyan sa basketball. Nag-dribble ano? na, nung nagka-problema, dinampot yung bola. E di wala ka nang pwedeng gawin. Pag nag-dribble ka ulit, e di double-dribble na yun. E di ba, bago Tama. ka mag-dribble, tingnan mo isipin muna. muna. Oo, oh, isipin mo muna. So, Galing. pero ganun lang ang coaching. Wala naman akong sinabi sa'yo. Did I give you any advice? That was all wala. from you. Wala. You wala. came up with all of that. So, Mm. That's, what, that's what the coach does. Oo. 
Yung mga tunay na coaches ay hindi nagpapayo. Oo, oh. nagbibigay ng options. They ask yes. questions. They bring out it they draw it out from you. Yan ang trabaho ng isang coach. So yes. coach, uh, ano yung ano mo? Uh, uh, message sa mga aspiring entrepreneurs, uh, mga nag magnegosyo sa panahon ngayon in this time of pandemic. The Chinese character for danger is a combination of Uh, the Chinese character for crisis is a combination of danger and opportunity. So, uh, yun lang. Yes, be very wary, be careful about how you approach and move forward, move the starting uh, today into next year, because there is danger all around. But at the same time, there is opportunity. So keep your eyes open, look for those opportunities, do not get discouraged. Do not get discouraged. Uh, be very honest uh, about uh, things. Be brutally honest, uh, especially with yourself. Uh, and, and you will find that the opportunities uh, are there. The opportunities are there. But if there's one thing that uh, in my paypayo ko, uh, look for collaborations, partnerships, or, or things that are already there and you don't have to build your own because the... Like I said, move the the days of the old uh, the old individual heroic model of leadership. Wala na yon. What we need now are future fit leaders. So same thing sa negosyante, future fit na negosyante, future fit business owners, the business owners who are preparing for the future. They cannot uh. predict the future, so they cannot be future proof. But you can be future fit. You can be prepared for the future. Galeng, galeng naman. So, Coach, paano ka makokontact? How do they get in touch with you if they want to get your services for speaking engagement? For mga ano, or if not naman, personal coaching? O paano po makokontact? Uh, Napakasimple. There is a coachcom, uh, coachcom.ph na website at meron din chotreyes.com. And you can email me at coach at chotreyas.com. So yan, may coachcom.ph or, so, or chotreyas.com. We have there are two ways to get in touch. Thank you very much, Coach Chot Reyes. Ah, talagang grabe, ang galing naman. No? Ang dami kong matutunan, sa totoo lang. Ha? Ipre pa, ipre pa dito. And then, ano, magkukollab kami ni Coach da because we're going to do something. no? And definitely, uh, I'll keep in touch with you, Coach Chot. Thank yes, you. sir. Thank you. Thank you for the invite. See you. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Merry Christmas. So, mga friendship, ito na po. Ang grabe naman talaga. Ay, naku, may natutunan na naman kayo. Di ba? Ako, dami ko natutunan ngayon. Kaya, nag-iisang ikaw, Angel Flores, ha? Uh, Angel Alberta, uh, Al 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 Alpanta. Okay, maraming maraming salamat. At syempre naman, Res Miles, si Del Sandugo. Maraming maraming salamat kay Emily for joining in. And then, meron na ako kung saan ano, ha? Christmas na po. Malapit na po yung Christmas, ladies and gentlemen, ha? Okay. Ito po yung gagawin natin, mga friendship. Uh, meron po ako yung magandang balita po para sa inyo. Ano po yung magandang balita? Ang magandang balita, uh, meron kaming i-release, uh, meron actually kami ni-release na, na piece of planner for this 2021. 2021. Yung piece of planner will help you how to budget, how to save, how to manage your money. And then may piece of planner din po. Ang kasama rin po dyan, yung 60,000 Ipon Challenge. Pero meron tayong promo ngayon. Ano po yung promo? At 499 pesos lang po yung piece of planner. Pag umorder kayo, may kasama ng apat na books. Yung Diary of Pupulube, budget, uh, My Budget Diary, Ipon Diary, and yung Utang Free Diary, libre na po. Ang value po niyan ay 600 pesos. So you will save 600 pesos. So if you order right now, alam nyo magandang pang regalo yan. It is a good gift. No, for this Christmas to yourself and to others. 499 lang. So if you want to order, all you need to do is just go to chinkshop.com. Okay, sa chinkshop.com or just uh, text the number 0920-949-4975. Okay, again, chinkshop.com, C-H-I-N-K-S-H-O-P. Um order ka ng isang libro ng ano, piece of planner, may kang apat na free books. Yes. Sobrang sulit, sobrang panalo yan. Maraming maraming salamat. So, we're gonna pause for a break. Okay, sa ating pagbabalik, Connie man ang istorya, susunod ng panauhin natin. Ito naman naging susi sa kanyang matagumpay na food cart business. Alamin natin kung paano magbabalik muli ang Rocket Science! <laughs>
Yes, sa mga nais na mga nagnegosyo, grabe naman. Yan ba isa sa mga pangkaraniwan na siguro ang idea yung business food cart, di ba? Hindi lahat naman nabibigyan ng magtagumpay na business. Kaya nga may mga iba, ang ginagawa na lang po ay kumukuha po ng franchise at food cart business. So mga kasama natin ngayon sa araw na ito ay si Ginoong Mr. Walter Bong Magpayo, ang presidente ng Sweet Corner, di ba? Nang Sweet Corner at Sumo Takoyaki Incorporated. Hi, Walter. Hi, Hi Sir Chiki. Yes, Sir Chiki. Good morning sa ating mga listeners and viewers. Yes, Advanced maraming maraming na na. O, kwentuhan mo kami paano naman itong uh, nag-umpisa itong negosyon yung Sweet Corner at saka Sumo Takoyaki. Uh, takoyaki. Yes, Sir Chiki. Kasi alam mo, karaniwan, ako isang karaniwang, uh, well, typical Filipino na empleyado mentality, di ba? Nung araw, pag sinabi, you know, somebody belonging to the old school, pag sinabi ng magulang, study hard, be the best student that you can be. After graduation, you work in a big company, become a manager. Yan po ang aking sinundan na natahak, no? na landas, uh, according to sa, sa pagsunod sa aking mga magulang. And now, work has br had brought me to Mindanao, dito po sa South Cotabato, which is the current capital of the Philippines. No? Ako po'y naging isang manager ng isang agribusiness company, at uh, namulat ako sa Mindanao. It was really an eye-opener for me na there's not much jobs uh, to offer in that part of the Philippines. So, lakaramihan po ng tao sa Mindanao. At that time, mga 90, 1990s, ay uh, mga negosyante, mga traders, mga micro-entrepreneurs. So, sabi ko, bakit hindi ko, hindi ko uh, tularan itong mga kababayan natin sa Mindanao? And so happen po, ang mga farmers doon, eh, nahihirapan sa kanilang mga mga produce, nahihirapan sila sa market kasi they were only relying on the uh, traders and middlemen. Kasi po sa agrikultura, ang uh, meron pong uh, may say o may alam ng uh, mga prices, both in the supply side and the uh, market side, ay mga traders. No? So sabi ko, let, uh, naisip ko, Sir Chimpi, na magkaroon ng alternative market for them. No? Mm. Eh, ang pananaw ko, to start small, start small but dream big. So, naglagay ako mm. ng food cart, itong Sweet oh. Corner. So, Sweet Corner was born out of uh, uh, the uh, opportunity of helping our farmers. So, ganun po nagsimula yung Sweet Corner. Tapos po, uh, over time, syempre, nagbabago ang panahon, ng taste and preference, consumer behavior, eh, nag-isip din po kami ng isang uh, concept. Ito na po yung Sumo Takuyaki. Pero, Ah, uh, kami po hindi pa nakakapunta ng Japan at that time, sinabi lang sa, sa akin ng isang kaibigan ko, "Oh, meron tong isang uh, sikat na sikat na parang uh, snack food, no? In Tokyo and in some parts of Japan, ito yung takoyaki. Eh, hindi naman po ako marunong, hindi ko alam mga ingredient. It so happened po yung uh, asawa ko eh isang baker. So siya po yung nagkokok. Siya po yung nag-create ng kanyang version of takoyaki, one that suits the Filipino taste, which is sweet, no, and spicy. So, Tumo Takoyaki was born po, Sir King. Uh, okay, so why do you consider this as a miracle business? Uh -oh. uh, well, it's a miracle kasi po tinanggap ng tao kahit hindi siya authentic na takoyaki, no? Kasi mm. po ang aming uh, positioning, it's a, uh, it's a takoyaki that will suit the Filipino taste, no? Hindi po siya authentic. And we don't claim it to be authentic. Uh, kaya kahit pa paano po, medyo dumami po yung branches natin In spite of the fact that it's not really an authentic pakoyaki mm. So, syempre, mm -hmm. ay, ay, itong uh, sweet corner mo at saka itong pakoyaki eh, Ilang branches na as of this moment? Well, Sir Chinky, before the pandemic, medyo marami-marami Pero after the pandemic, kumonti na the reality of realities <laughs> Mm. Kaya nga, before, ilan po? Ilan ng uh, before? Uh, we were running around 200, Sir Chinky, but now less than 100. Oh, sige, paano naman na, uh, siyempre, naapektuhan kayo? Anong ginawa nyo naman? In order for you to, again, adjust, kanina napanood nyo siguro yung kay Coach Shot, di ba? Anong ginawa nyo yung pivoting para ika nga makasurvive din yung business? Uh, among others, uh, Sir Chinky, kasi di ba sabi nga ni Charles Darwin, eh, your ability to uh, survive Vibe and thrive is depends on your ability to adapt to changes. No, so isa namin nga uh, inadapt eh itong paggamit ng mga tinatawag natin digital platform. No, na ngayon uh, inintroduce ko or, well three months pa lang naman inintroduce ko itong uh, isang mode of uh, digital financial services that will at least provide customer a safer and more convenient way to pay. Ano yon? Ano po yon? 
Ah, actually, ito, ito, Sir Chinky, I'm using Paymaya. Paymaya, napaka-maayos na digital platform. Man. It allows me to quickly and easily receive payments from other banks. Yo, pati e-wallets yan, nare-receive mo uh, QR payments through this uh, Paymaya negosyo number. Dahil sabi nga nila, Sir Chinky, cashless oh. is becoming the preferred payment method of customers nowadays and as an, uh, uh, bilang isang negosyante syempre kailangan mag-adapt tayo sa changes no kaya buti na lang na discover ko tong Paymaya negosyo dahil uh, nakatulong sa atin to offer cashless payment sa ating uh, mga stores at sir Chinky uh, by using this Paymaya negosyo app I can now avoid doing cash transaction which can be a source di ba ang ang nakakatakot kasi yung exchanges actual exchanges of uh, a bills eh. Hindi natin alam, baka contaminated na ito ng, uh, ng virus. So, napaka-safe po if you use yung Paymaya cashless transaction. So, kailangan po lahat ng uh, bibili may Paymaya account, di ba? Right? Yes, Sir Chinky. Napakadali lang naman na gamitin ito. Okay, uh, well, all, all they have to do is uh, i-download ang Paymaya negosyo app sa Google Play, mag-register gamit ang inyong pangalan, mobile number, mag-submit lang ng isang valid ID, at uh, yun, that's basically it. Mag maghintay lang po ng confirmation ng mes uh, message uh, tungkol sa inyong application sa loob ng uh, 48 hours, Sir Chinky. Okay, pagkatapos yan, paano naman sila mag-load ng pera sa kanyang ano, wallet, yung Paymaya wallet? Actually, malaki ang, uh, well, uh, ang, 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 well, they can always use this, ano, yung, yung apps nila, Sir, Sir Chinky, no? Nando na lahat ang, uh, Nandun na lahat actually ang uh, instructional, uh, well, directions nandun makikita na nila. Mm -hmm. Tapos, okay, ito na, balik naman tayo sa ano. So, nung in-implement nyo itong uh, payment system na ito, nag-ano ba, maas ba yung benta nyo? Well, siguro meron kaming increment sa chinky na, no? Mga 20 to 30%, no? Uh, maganda na yun. Compared to previous sales, no? So, oo. Uh -oh. uh, Well, it's a welcome, uh, oh, oh, malaking ano po yan, malaking uh, tulong para sa amin. Oo. So ngayon, uh, may balita ako, balik naman tayo sa inyong sweet corner at kayo yung takoyaki, no? Uh, that you do not collect royalties, totoo ba yan? Uh, yes, Sir Chinky, kasi we don't want to be a burden to our franchises kasi si, uh, sa amin na sila bumibili ng tinatawag natin proprietary ingredients. Although, meron din po, po kami mga generic ingredients which they can buy uh, these ingredients by themselves. No? Uh, yung mga proprietary, yun ang mga sinusupply namin sa kanila like butter, uh, sauces, etc. etc. No? So, hindi po kami nagsacharge ng royalty. Sige, ano yung diskarte nyo ngayon? Uh, itong panahon ng pandemic, how do you uh, switch? ba? Diba? Ano yung paano kayo nagmamarket? Paano pa ka siyempre? Limited yung mga pwesto eh. eh paano sila magpo-franchise kung konti rin po traffic? Well, sa aming side, Sir Chinky, no? Siyempre, alam naman natin, people are afraid to go out, etc., etc. Uh, Nag-expand uh, kami, nag-open kami ng branch sa mga community. Dahil ang mga tao may halos hindi na lumalabas, di po ba? So, yan po ang aming uh, direksyon. Uh, paglagay ng aming food cards on, uh, sa mga komunidad, sa mga barangay. At uh, siguro, i-maximize ko na rin itong Paymaya. Dahil ang maganda rin ito po sa Paymaya, Sir Chinky, no, pwede rin sila kumita ng extra. Pwede rin tayo kumita ng extra dahil may mga features to kung saan pwede ka magbenta ng load, gaming pins, mag-accept ng bills payment at remittance sa mga physical store natin, no? At, uh, ah, yun, ah, eh, yes, yun ang maganda doon, Sir Chinky. At dahil part ka ng Paymaya Negosyante Rewards Program, marami kang tips na matututunan para maging mas successful uh, ang yung business. Di ba? Katulad nung kanina pinag-uusapan nyo ni Sir Coach, uh, Coach uh, Thoughts Reyes, no? At uh, pwede mo rin magamit at i-maximize ang yung Paymaya Negosyo Incentive sa iyong negosyo. Oo. Ano pa yung mga negosyo na in-explore mo ngayon, sir? Uh, sir, uh, oh, yes, sir. Uh, uh, apart from itong uh, sumo takoyaki sweet corn, eh, meron din kasi akong bakery, sir, uh, sir Chinky. No? Dahil nga, hmm. sabi nga natin, aside from the online uh, businesses na patok na yun, mga community-based ang namamayagpag. So, eh, it so happened that bread, di po ba, eh, since time immemorial, eh, negosyo na yan. No? Uh, yan po ang uh, 12T4 bread station. Yan po ang... Uh, nilalagay natin sa mga kumindad yung bakery. 
Wow, di ba? From a former employee, di ba? Dati nagkatrabaho ka, ngayon negosyo na. Tama? Opo. <laughs> Tama, so, sir. How, that, how did it change your life, Bong? Paano na bago ang buhay mo? Personally, sir? Uh, uh, well, at least kahit pa paano uh, uh, nabibili mo na yung konting gusto mo, di ba? Uh, nakakabiyahin ng konti at uh, uh, life is a little bit comfortable po. No? Hindi naman sasabihin natin grandoso, pero uh, naging komportable ng konti ang buhay. At lalo na ngayon dahil uh, meron isa pang avenue, no? kumbaga revenue stream katulad nitong Paymaya, eh, kahit pa para makakatulong po to, to offset yung, <laughs> yung ating mga losses nung uh, pandemic. Galing naman. So ano naman po ang tips nyo para sa mga fellow aspiring entrepreneurs na wala pang masyadong puhunan, takot pa, ano yung pwede mong ituro sa share sa kanila? Uh, personally, Sir Chinky, na, naging panuntunan namin sa buhay na kung wala ka pa, ay eh, mag-itipid ka. Uh, nung kami mm-hmm. po ay nagsisimula, parehas po kami empleyado, we normally save at least uh, 20-30% of our salary. Tapos nung nag-accumulate yun, uh, that's the time that we thought of uh, entering into business. At dahil wala po kaming alam sa negosyo, nag- nag-franchise muna po kami ng isa. Eventually, after learning the ropes of the franchising business, nagkaroon po kami ng sarili. So, start small. Kami po, small food cart. But always think big. Uh, use a model or anything na dadami yung ating, uh, uh, well, kung food cart yan o kung ano pa man po yan. Okay. Maraming maraming salamat. So, please uh, promote sa kayo makokontak, Sir Bong, sa iyong uh, sweet corner at saka takoyak. Uh, again, marami pong salamat sa pagkakataon nito, Sir Chinky. No? Uh, siguro they can... Uh, send us a message sa ating fan pages no sa Facebook or they can send an email sa vbmagpayo.com or uh, they can uh, send a message to you franchise consultancy firm yan po ang aming kakampi at of course maraming po salamat din sa Paymaya sa pagkakataon na binigyan tayo ng uh, ng uh, another avenue for earning no dahil alam mo hirap na hirap tayo mga negosyante ngayon kaya mga kababayan yung mga lalong-lalo na yung mga nagsusumikap natin mga negosyante na wag po kayong matakot na gumamit itong mga services katulad itong Paymaya dahil napakamagandang serbisyo in terms of convenience and safety po Yes, maraming maraming salamat Sir Bong of Sweet Corner and then Takoyaki Mabuhay kayo, mabuhay, maraming maraming salamat Yes, mga friendship, sana naman na-inspire kayo no, sa buhay ni Sir Bong. Grabe, imagine mo dating empleyado ngayon, nagdenegosyo na. Ikaw, Resmals, Mitch Ann, kamusta na? Del Sandugo, di ba? Kayo ba ay nais na magnegosyo? Julius Salandoni, Edith, Angel Flores, maraming maraming salamat sa pagtutok po sa araw na ito. Rosalinda, di ba? Ito yung mga, ano natin, eh, mga raketista po, di ba? Siyempre naman, kailangan po natin mag-umpisa, Roger, kabinete. Maraming maraming salamat din po talaga. Ha, guys? Sana naman po ay may natutunan po kayo. Ika nga eh, bago tayo magpaalam, ha? ito lang, ha? Uh, meron po tayong isang ika nga paalala sa Simbang Gabi. Oo, Simbang Gabi. Oo. At tatandaan nyo po, inaanyayahan namin po kayo na sumama kami sa uh, Simbang Gabi na 1PH. Nagsimula na ito ng December 16 at magtatagal ito hanggang December 24 or bisperas ng Kapaskuhan. Tuloy pa rin ang, siyempre, Pasko, tuloy ang Simbang Gabi. Kumplituhin natin to at sa inyong tahanan. Nakasama yung buong pamilya tuwing alas 4 na umaga hanggang uh, sa ano sa 1PH po, Signal TV Channel 1. Paalala lang po, ha, hindi nyo na kailangan po, po talagang pumunta pa ng simbahan. Bakit po? Eh, siyempre naman, eh, pinagbabawal po nga ngayon mass gathering. Eh, kung sabay-sabay po tayong lalabas, Sa magandang hangarin nyo po na kayo po ay makapagsimba, eh, pero paano naman po eh, kung tayo po ay mahawa at makahawa. Diba? At sa kababala na rin po, ha? Oh, direct, ibalik eh, nyo na ako. <laughs> Oo. Ang, ano lang, babala lang po. Ha? Uh, itong Kapaskuhan po, malapit na po, this coming, ano na yan, next week. Diba? Bago mag-Saturday tayo next week, please, iwasan din po natin yung mga family reunions, yung mga parties. Huwag tayong magpakampante. Diba? Aanhin mo yung party, aanhin mo yung celebration, eh kung kayo naman ay magkakaroon ng sakit. At syempre naman, kawawa naman po. Kasi sa Amerika po, ah, just to give you an idea, ah, nagkaroon po ng surge o oh, pagtaas po ng ah, mga taong may COVID cases nung because of the Thanksgiving. 
Eh, ay wala. Nag-meeting pa rin sila, nagpa-party pa rin sila, nag-family reunion pa rin sila. Yan po ang nangyari. So kaya po, uh, bilang paalala lang po sa programa natin dito po sa Rocket Science, iwasan po natin ang mag-meet muna this coming, ano, tayong tiis-tiis lang. Nakapag-tiis na tayo ng siyam na buwan. Bakit nandiyan natin ituloy pa, mga kapatid? ba? Diba? So ito lang, friendship, paalala lang po ah. Bukas po, may programa pa rin po tayo sa Radio 5, 92.3 News FM para sa Ching Positive. Alas 7 na umaga hanggang alas 8. At mamiyang 12 noon po, 12 noon. Ang pag-uusapan po natin ng anim skills. Six skills that you need to learn. ba? Six skills that you need to learn in order for you to become successful in life this 2021. Ano yung anim na skills na kailangan matututan? Hanapin, hanapin nyo po ako sa Ching Positive po sa YouTube channel. Alas 2 ko po i-release yan. Maraming maraming salamat at yan po kabuuan ng ating programa. Samahan niyo po kami muli sa sunod na Sabado at baka sa Sunday next Saturday mas marami pa tayong ika nga mga special guests, di ba? Kami rin po dito sa programa ito na ibibigay sa inyo na karunungan at nagpag-asa, matuto ng bagong kaalaman, magkatrabaho, magpalago ng negosyo at kumita. Dahil dito po sa Rocket Science, Angel Flores, di ba? Roger Cabinete. Kitang kita ang kita. Yay!